what's going on welcome back black elvis i'm here about to sit here and check out this uh interview from of course my boy my boy right here uh fresh out the army and whatnot so drop me a comment let me know what you think let's get it <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to start it. This, this is not part of the questioning, but uh, did you get the black eyed peas when you got home? I haven't eaten anything yet. I haven't eaten anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've just been looking around more or less since I've been back. Now, uh, to get down to the serious side of it, Elvis, um, now that the Army's part of the past, can you give us in detail some of your future plans? Well, the first thing I have to do is to cut some records. And then after that, I have the television show with uh, the Frank Sinatra. And then I have the, the picture with Mr. Wallace. And then uh, after that, I have two for 20th Century Fox. And after that, heaven knows, I don't. <laughs> I, I suppose it'll keep me busy the rest of this year, you know. After that, I don't know. Well, Elvis, now you're really home. How does it feel? pretty hard to describe, I'll tell you. It, it, it's hard to get used to, you know. I mean, I've been looking forward to it for two years, and uh, all of a sudden, here it is. It's, uh, it's not easy to adjust to it. Now that you are back, as you look back on your two years in the service, what was the uh, most important thing that happened to you during your two years, whether it was overseas or here in the States? Well, there were a number of things that happened. Uh, I had quite a few interesting experiences. Slip out in the snow. <laughs> HC rations, you know, all the regular thing. But uh, I suppose the the biggest thing of all is the fact that I I did make it. I made it just like everybody. I mean, I tried to play it straight, you know, like everybody else. And uh, I made a lot of friends that I never would have made otherwise. And uh, all in all, it's been a pretty good experience, you know. Elvis, uh, you still have time to serve <coughs> now for Uncle Sam. Have you given any thought as to where you're going to serve your reserve training? Well, sir, uh, I will be on the reserve status here in Memphis at the reserve center here. But uh, they have a, a clause which covers people with traveling jobs. Uh, if you have a traveling job or if you live too far away from your reserve center, they put you on uh, standby. Uh, whereas uh, you don't have to make their meetings, but you are uh, subject to be called in any emergency or anything of that nature. Elvis, one of your future commitments, as you mentioned, is the Frank Sinatra show on the ABC television network. Do you have any idea of when this will be aired? I really don't know the exact date. I would imagine it's somewhere around the 1st of May. If you'll forgive me, I have one other part to my question. We understand, okay. uh, speaking of Frank Sinatra, that there has been some rumor about uh, Nancy Sinatra and yourself. Is there a romance in the making here? <laughs> uh, no, sir, I'm afraid not. I only met her in Fort Dix. And uh, she she gave me a, a gift from, from, from Frank. And... Uh, it was very brief. I think she's engaged to Tommy Sands. I don't think he would appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <clears throat> now, do you think the uh, music has changed since you've been out of the service? I mean, since you've been in the service? Possibly, yes. <clears throat> I, 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 I can't say, really. I haven't been here long enough to even know. The, uh, excuse me. Pardon, the, the only thing I can say is that uh, uh, if it has changed, well, I would be foolish not to try to change with it, you know. But as of now, I have no reason to, to, to change anything. As to your uh, acting, you have stated you would like to be a more serious actor. And uh, do you plan to uh, possibly go to some uh, school or some dramatic school? Well, it wouldn't hurt me any to go to school, but I, 
I, I learned best by experience. Uh, I never was very good in schools of any kind. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's going to take me a long time and a lot of experience. But that is your ultimate ambition? But uh, as of the present time, it really is. That's what I want to do. Elvis, you, you were asked about uh, Nancy Sinatra. How about uh, any romance? Did you leave any heart, shall we say, in uh, Germany? <laughs> <laughs> Not any special one. Uh, there was a little girl that I was I was seeing quite often over there. That uh, her father was in the Air Force, and actually they only got over there about two months before I left. I was seeing her, and she was at the train at the airport when I left, and. Uh, there were some pictures made of her, <laughs> but it was no big. It was no big romance. I mean, uh, the, the stories came out the girl he left behind and, <laughs> and all that. It, it wasn't. It wasn't like that. I mean, <laughs> I had to be careful when I answered questions. <laughs> well, in your in your service service life, which did you find the most difficult when you went into basic training? Or when you got over into Germany, over with the experienced soldiers, which uh, which gave you the hardest time? Well, basic training wasn't hard for me at all. Uh, it was harder afterwards. After I had gotten into a, a regular outfit, uh, not the service itself, but just the surroundings, and I was in a strange land, and uh, uh, the outfit I was in, they had quite a bit of field duty. We stayed in the field six months out of the year. And it gets cold in Germany, and <laughs> it snows quite a bit. And uh, uh, it was pretty hard to adjust to. One thing further on that, uh, do you have any advice for the boys your age who are now going to have to put in a certain amount of duty with, uh, in the service? Well, the only thing I can say is to, uh, to play it straight and, and, and to do your best, because you can't fight them. <laughs> they've never they've never lost yet you know? <laughs> and you can't fight them so uh, you can make it easier you can make it hard on yourself i mean if you play it straight get the people on your side let them know you're trying you you as the arm would say you've got it made and if you're going to try to be an individual or try to be different you're going to go through two years of misery <laughs> Elvis, when do you think you'll record again? And when you do, do you think you'll lean toward the ballad-type music or the more upbeat sounds? Well, as far as when I'll record, I, I, I really don't know. Possibly this week or next week. And what I'll record, I, I don't know yet. Uh, I've got quite a few songs to choose from. I've collected over the two years, but I don't know exactly uh, what type or what instruments I'll use, whether it be... Uh, the Firestone Orchestra, or <laughs> <laughs> Monty Bonnie, or what? <laughs> I really don't know yet. <clears throat> Shoot. <laughs> well, you said that uh, you said that uh, at the train that the uh, that you wanted to get back to what you were doing, and of course that is singing and entertaining. And I tell you from that, that that you really enjoy what you're doing, or what you were doing before you went to service. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, in fact, that was the hardest part of the entire military service, is being away from it. Being away from the fans? And just, just being away from show business altogether. That, that was the hardest part of all. It wasn't the Army, it wasn't the other men. It was that. It stayed on my mind. I kept thinking about the past all the time. Contemplating the future. And, Elvis, you know, that was uh, the hardest part. We know your family status has changed since you went into service. Are you going to keep Graceland? Do you have plans of moving away from Memphis or what? No, sir, I have no plans for leaving Memphis. And you're going to keep Graceland? I'm going to keep Graceland as long as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> well, was, was, <clears throat> was this Christmas tree a surprise? Well, since it's... Uh, March, uh, it's a little surprise. <laughs> uh, uh, that's the tree we used in 1957. We can leave the Christmas tree long enough uh, about your tonsils and the tonsillectomy that you were contemplating while you went into service. Did you deliberately 
ask that it be held off until you could get to, to the United States and the local doctor? No, sir. Or did I, they improve I, that much? I didn't ask that. Uh, uh, they don't like to perform surgery of any kind in, in Europe. Mm -hmm. They don't like to. If it's an, if it's an emergency, they will. Uh, but uh, I took penicillin and uh, wonder drugs or whatever they call it. You <laughs> and I, I had no okay. recurrence, huh? I had, I had two attacks of tonsillitis and all that. Thomas, did you like the food over there uh, outside of the army when you would go out, you know? Did you like that type of food? I never went out. So. <laughs> you never uh, ate out at the restaurant? I never, I never ate in a restaurant the entire time I was in Germany. It's funny. I either ate in the mess hall or at home, one of the two. I, I never, in fact, I never went anywhere while I was in Europe except to Paris. I went to Paris and uh, on a leave, and that was all. Now, how did the fans respond to you over there as compared to here in the States? Well, it's a pretty difficult question to answer because anything I'll say, uh, it might sound a little uh, like I'm bragging, you know? <laughs> Uh, but it was pretty much the same, pretty much the same there as here. They had seen a lot of your movies. And, and, and the records and so forth. Now, I'd like to go back on a tour over there someday, uh, all of Europe. All of Europe. Because uh, the only thing they know about me is what they've read, uh, records and the movies and so forth. Elvis, this is not in the form of a question, but I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you home for everybody in Memphis and the South. Well, thank you. I, you'll never know how happy I am to be here. Someone asked me this morning, what did I miss about Memphis? And I said, everything. I uh, I asked that question on the train this morning, <laughs> and uh, we used it uh, several times. And you said, uh, anything you mentioned about Memphis that I missed, I missed that much. Well, sir, I, I was, I've been here for quite a while, about 14 or 15 years now. I pretty well know Memphis. I thought I did, but I drove home. You know. <laughs> John, if we get any more now, I'll have to start charging you. <laughs> How would you like to feel to come all the way into the station on the train for the first time? Huh? How would you feel to come all the way to your destination on the train? Uh... You normally get all... I couldn't believe it. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't... Oh, you, oh, I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> Escape and evasion, they call it in the Army. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know, I mean, I, 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 I was hoping there'd be some, you know, people there at the station. And uh, I knew there'd be a lot of my friends there, my, you know, personal friends. And uh, I wanted to come into the station. I wouldn't have gotten off anywhere else, you know. I mean, I mean this time is, is different. If we'd only known that yesterday. <laughs> how long do you think you'll be back in Memphis recuperating or getting adjusted back to civilian life? I would say a couple of weeks. That's about all. Thank you. Okay, is that all? <coughs> hmm. My boy, my boy. Oh, how I miss those metal cabinets in the back. You just got to click and unlash and pull out. Those is classics. Those is classics. Anywho, that was a nice little interview right there. You know what I mean? Fresh, dressed to impress, kicking back, relaxing, answering them dumbass questions. That's one thing I hate is some dumbass questions. Give me some good shit. But anywho, hope you enjoyed this video. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think.